called Whisper Quiet. I don't even hear a hum. Well, this one ain't on yet. Yeah, they're not on yet. No. They got a little bit of a delay. Julie's testimony leads her seaside Actually, community reeling. Then another bombshell and another trial. Coming up, I'm going to put the thing in there. You guys want to just pick one? Just put the closet. Oh, yeah. We had all of our ideas for that closet. Dude, that's just going to be in there. This is really pretty. The cabinets are really pretty. There we go. There. This is a little bit louder back here. Yeah. It's just, it's just the vent. All three of them are on right now. That's just the vent. You have your return vents right here. There's one there and one here. See, when you, I walk in here and it's running. We heard it kick on earth. That's still a nice, just nice light hum. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's it's way better than having. So when I, well, I'd never heard of Whisper Quiet, so I didn't know if it was just you know a nice label, but it really is pretty much Whisper Quiet. Yeah. And Most you, people when they're running all three ACs, they they're having to yell at each other. Good. I was worried about a liquor cabinet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, nah, it'll be up there probably. So you installed this for me too, didn't you, Tim? I did. I appreciate it. Uh, well, so you put it over to the right, so to give room for the doors to open. No. Because of the, the cables? Yes, I, I didn't have much room here for my, my cords. So I had to get it over that way as, as far as I could. So you can't get the cords there. Now they, I've heard some talk about, there's no problem running the washer and the dryer at the same time on shore power, right? If I'm on 50 amp. Correct. Right, well, but if actually, I'm not. Um, I believe they're on the same breaker in here, which is like only a 20 amp breaker or something like that. Mm. So um, I believe one of those actually pulls like, uh, 13 or 14 amps. I think the dryer pulls like 13 or 14 amps. Uh oh. So I can't run them at the same time. I don't think so. I don't, I, you may try it. I don't know if you can get away with it or not, but you might try it and see what happens. I might have to um, rerun, get an electrician to rerun that to the other line. I like to split them. Well, when you close this door, uh -huh. we always want to make sure we close it like this. If you go like that and try to close it, it's going to break these off. Uh, okay. So, so make sure it's flat. Make, make it flat it. Yep. and then close. Yep. Okay. I've awesome. seen people do that all the time. Now, what's that? Central vac? Uh, no, this is your uh, your LP uh, slash carbon monoxide detector. Okay. So if you have any leaks or some uh, gas leaks or carbon monoxide in here, it'll start going off and let you know something's going on there. You actually have a uh, smoke detector right here. So if you have any, uh, down like that. Oh, you know what? We can turn this off. You want right here? Let that new hot water do some work. Uh, what else we got in here? Um, What's this Truma? That is your switch for your water heater. Okay. So I have it pointed. That's not even on. So there's an off position, and then one click up. See that orange light being on? Mm -hmm. That means it's working. Okay. That has to be on for this to for this. Turn work. it off on travel day. Um. Yeah, if you can, you can turn it off when you're traveling. Um, but one click up from off is where you want that to be in normal running operation. Now, you also have to have this one on gas as well. When you're running the water heater. Yeah. So this switch needs to be on oh, yeah. on gas, and then that switch, that dial in the bathroom needs to be one above off. Because this is the master switch for gas? Yes. You turn that off, you will turn off propane. Okay. And and I, But I need to have that off for travel because I don't want my propane on. That's strictly just to turn the water heater that's, on and off. That's for heat. So you can take a shower, basically. Gas, water, water, okay. Heat for this. It used to control the you hot did. water heater, but it now it just control controls the gas. The gas. It used to control the, if you want to run your water heater on gas, you would turn this on. If you mm. want to run your water heater on electric, you'd turn that one on. But now but I can't now, run off, because all on demands are gas, which kind of sucks because that uses my propane, but. all Yeah, that oh. one actually works in bedroom lights. I don't know why they put that's it in weird. there, but that's where it is. Okay. Fair enough. I like the faucet. That's fancy. You know what I don't like about that faucet? What? 
<laughs> there is you might have experienced it at some point in time. You get a little air bubble in your water line, and that thing will actually shoot water right at you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it looked like I pissed my pants one day because it shot water off. Oh, <laughs> shit. Like, it's, like when it's on the drive regular pump, 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 pump. Or like this, check it out, like, uh, like when you have to purge a water heater and it's got all the bubbles and stuff coming out, it sh yeah. it'll actually shoot that water out at you. So just make sure you do it yeah. easy. Do it easy. I do, whenever whenever I know there's gonna be air bubbles in there, I'll, uh, I'll just barely crack it open. Well, I can also go down there and just let that pressure out like I was talking about. I do like how Gotcha. Now, is this a regular king? Don't get me lying, I, I, I'm assuming. I don't know the size of my beds and all that kind of stuff, but uh, not offhand, but I would say it's- It looks a little it's shorter. King. It's definitely king wide. I think it it's shorter. A, yeah, it may be a, a what they call RV king, which is a little bit shorter. Seems some some with more storage. But. Now on travel days, I need what do I need to do to prep this thing. All right. So uh, when you're traveling, we definitely want to make sure that we turn the light out in here. Uh, we're going to take this closet. We're going to lock it down right here. I'm gonna slide these right. I'm turn this off. Power off. I was looking in pictures. I was worried that TV was too small, but being in here, it really ain't that bad. So, like I say, uh, the filters are here. Your other AC in the middle, you have the same thing where your filters That's a, are. The filters in in here. Return like a little foam yeah, filter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Unscrew that, so I can just buy a foam and cut it. Or you just wash it with soap and water and stick it back up in there. Okay. And then there, you got two more right there. This is for your mid AC. And then you also have two here in the toy box. Oh yeah, okay. And where's their, their thermostat? That one thermostat works everything. Everything. So I have to show a guest if they want to come and do all this. Mm -hmm. And you can set so, each one. So I, and can I just shut it off? Yeah, you just hit that twice, it shuts them all off. Done. Boom. Now what about if I want to just shut all the lights off at once. Can I do that? No, I don't have a, it doesn't have a master light. Well, that sucks. <laughs> See, DRV fails in the little bells and whistles. Yeah, it? It I does. guess there's only so much they can manufacture in for a certain amount of money and make it still affordable. Right. This is your hour meter for your, um, your generator. Okay. This is the remote start for it. So it's just like the one over there. You're gonna push that down till the little uh, light comes on, let it about three or four seconds and then start it up. Where do I hit start? You just push. Oh, up. just up. push it yeah, up. Yeah, hold it until it starts completely up. I don't so, know, so I don't prime remember it. If I turn the breaker, prime it, and, it and then mm -hmm. start. And then this just says how many hours? This total hours? Yeah, the total hours are on it. Um, so. Cool. All right, so working my slides. Travel. All right, so I usually run the vanity slide in first. Okay. Make sure that that door, the closet doors, are locked in. There's a little latch at the bottom. You already did that. Yep. Yep. Um, and then we'll do the bed in. Those are pretty quiet right now yeah. while they're new. These going to be a little bit louder. They're going to come in a little bit different. These came in pretty much straight in. These are mm -hmm. going to lift up a little bit when they come in. I can even come take a nap on the road <laughs> with the uh, slides in. Make sure we lock these into place when we're traveling. Okay. Otherwise, they're... So lock it open. Yeah, you're not going to uh, have a door there when you get through. There's a little uh, doohickey on that. So where is this light? Mm, I think it might be a switch right there. This door, where does, what do I do with this door? Down there, it stays locked just like that when okay. you're traveling. So it's locked when it's yeah. open. When, to undo it, you just push that down and bring it. Gotcha. I didn't realize there's a mirror on that side. There is? Mm -hmm. Nice. Look at this big old TV. And then we're gonna flush this toilet and get the water out of it. Hold both of them. Look, ladies. 
and then All the right. peel back um, the fridge is gone and the door is gone. I will say this, there. these toilets have power. a, um, they have a uh, the door safety feature get. where if open. your tank, your black tank is too <coughs> full, it won't let you flush. Mm -hmm. Then okay. That way you don't overflow your black tank. So that's a safety switch it has built yeah. in. Yeah. So, um, now, do you think this will be enough for my liquor? That ain't tall I don't enough. Know. It wouldn't be enough for mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, TVs. Now, all these remotes. So I've got Sony. That's yep. the sound bar. Uh, no, that's JBL. This is, this is your this is your um, Blu-ray player. Okay. Blu-ray player that's inside here. Right. JBL. That's, that's sound. Bar. Sound bar. TV. Fireplace. Fireplace. Nice. So those can just go in a drawer, huh? There's all your owner's manuals and all that stuff. Even the trim that I installed has all the stuff in there. Sweet. Thank you. Because we've got to move on to see if this thing lines up with my hitch. Uh oh. You have a torque wrench that goes up to 220 pounds? Um, if not, I'm sure somebody does. And just in case we got to move, it's got four bolts at 220. Yeah. And it needed an extension. So uh, it's like a wonky trying to get it to <laughs> finally it started getting like, oh, I got it in. Now these, so you, you I don't have the fancy, wife's going to want these upgraded. <laughs> yeah, they're not quite great uh, comfortable wise, you know. Yeah. But I guess it kind of keeps you from falling asleep in the recliner. <laughs> now, if I want to change out, how would you get it out of here? They come out in sections. They do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have little deals that. Oh, lock in? Yeah, they lock in together. And also, the backs uh, can unlock too. So this part here could come off as well. Okay, so like I could remove two if I wanted mm -hmm. and then put a table in here or something mm -hmm. if I wanted or just remove it all and put a new a whole new couch or whatever but are there any plugs here, you want to get There's something a... that you can be able to get in here easily yeah I got you but but some of them they got the massage and the heater and all that and the wife's gonna want that probably and you can get them let them do the same thing that come apart in sections just like that okay they and to replace these and cup holders and all that kind of stuff gotcha cool they even have an out where they got a cold cup holder you can put your drink in there. Cold be, you're right, I know. Cold. We're going to get some good. We'll use these for a little while, and then I'm going to get some like really high end ones. Some really. They make them real nice if you ever looked on. I have looked a little bit online. So if, if you haven't realized already, you got light switches everywhere. I see it. They're everywhere. That sucks because some people some people have that just hold it and it shuts off everything. Yeah, yeah. That, you got the in command. Is it in command? Yeah, yeah. in command. That's so what I'm saying. Some of these other brands, they I make them. I think it's good and I think it's bad. Because I kind of like a light switch too. Because your command system goes down. Yeah, you can still Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And yeah, wi -Fi. I got you saying it. So if your if your screen is down, I mean, if you're not connected to your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, if your screen goes down, you're F. Can I do these? You only got a couple. Like yeah, these there's only like two or three switches. I'm sorry. Can I do these at the same time? Um, Pull the slides in? Yeah, yeah, let me, uh, let me go check. Now, can you do the slides on your phone? Nope. No, not not yet. I mean, not not with this setup right here because it doesn't have the increment. The increment. Oh, okay. Okay. But then that means it changes all these switches. See, I'd like to have the in command and my switches. Yeah, Man, that, that is hard, like stone. All right. All right. So it's these. So which one do I do? Uh, you got okay. Bedroom side, vanity. The, door the, side. Yeah. All right. So you got door one side one. and then off door side. So do door side first. Yeah. You can do off door side first. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You're on 15. Let's see. See so mine, the yeah. hydraulic on the in command. It pulls that slide in first, and then this slide. Yeah, it's usually it's just whichever one has the uh, least amount of resistance. Uh, we'll come in first. Is that all the way in? Yep. And then. Ooh, that. Uh oh. It comes in a little different. Okay. This, this one comes straight in. This one actually dips up a little bit. Yeah, because it's coming up out of the deal. Mm -hmm. I see. This one's on rollers. This one just rides on this little slider right here. All right. See, I can still come get to the fridge. Both doors. How about, I can't get to my freezer, though. And I can still... I still got lights on in here. What you got switched? DS, ODS, gas. All these need to be off? 
Yeah. Oh, that's your uh, your spotlights, your uh, floodlights. Off door side and door side floodlights and all that, so you can turn all those off too. You don't need the heater on either. No. Don't let me forget, we got to do the leveling system. Bumps off. That's the awning light out here. That's on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. That one's off. You got to run the awning in, too. Alright. Where is it? Awning. Is that, is that all the way? I just yeah. did it in. Both of them? Uh, there's a dial here that's for the rest of the lights. Let's see. Here. How many awnings do I have? Two, uh, awning. Three awnings, actually. Yeah, so one controller's three. in there. Uh huh. Then you have two in the toy box. Two of them, and both of them are in the toy box. The other two. You got these awning lights. Well, I got that one and this one. That's only two. No, you got the one on the and rear, the, too. The ramp door. Oh, and then the patio ramp door, deck. yeah, and the patio deck. Go on in and turn those lights off. Yep. But there's going to be a gap here with no awning. Uh, yeah, there's a slide will be here, but yeah. This door, oh, because the slide, yeah. This door shut? Yes. Uh, yes, it will shut all your doors. Oh. Yeah, shut all your doors. What about this? That should be off. I don't know how to turn it off. Let's see. Once it's black screen, that's it. That's all you get. That's off. Power and off. Got it. There you go. Just like that. And then. Bed lift control. One, two, three. Outside light. Should be two. Two switches there. There you go. Oh, that's what he's missing. Put your light back on here. He's missing his ladder for his buck. Because none of the mobile suites have ladders on them. Really? Too high. And uh, none of the cyclones, all the cyclone toy haulers don't have ladders. Uh, the mobile suites don't have ladders. Wow. The torch, don't, the toy boxes uh, don't have ladders in them. This ain't gonna ride. No, that's gonna slide all over that. Floor. No, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna lower this. And we're gonna put. We're gonna slide that bed right up underneath this mattress right here. You mean slide the table? Yeah, slide the table and the legs underneath the mattress right there. That way, it stays into place. Okay. Uh, yeah, they they uh, they don't have ladders on them. It's odd, and a lot of people complain about it, but. Uh, yeah, now you have to buy a ladder somewhere to get up in there. Yeah, you have something. Yeah, they didn't give me a ladder on the back either. Steps on the steps. Steps, I mean, there ain't one up there. Now you got a lot. Look at all of them that we have on a the lot. They don't have ladders on them. Yeah. Are you just gonna slide the whole thing in there? Is this stuff you figured out or they that what they suggest That's to do? The way they come from the factory. That's where they come from the yeah. factory. Mm -hmm. And they're just like that. Uh, some of them actually uh not this unit, but some of the other units actually have uh um, they put them under the they have hooks. Bed. No, they have hooks where you can actually strap it all down right there. I'm gonna have to get a ratchet strap. I should have brought one. I, I might have some in my truck. Or I can ratchet, put a ratchet strap around this. What about these? Should these go up in the pins? Yeah, when, the, when we bring all this all the way up, we'll put those pins in there. Oh, I okay. gotcha. And like I said, they're just basically to hold this yeah, it's only to hold when this you bring this down. These are only to hold this? Yes. Okay. They No other purpose. On your now, th this one here comes down too. Yes, I was fixing to ask you, on your Happy Jack, does it do that? Uh, so yeah, you can pull these pins out right here, slide it out a little bit, and lay these flat against the wall. Oh, okay. If you needed more height room, mm, gotcha. or like, like side a by side, side by side razor or something like that, mm -hmm. or like I got a thicker mattress up here, and <laughs> and, I and I don't and I don't want to go all the way up. up as far. Yeah. All right. What about my guards? You got y'all got those on there? The what? Bug screens. Bug screens. Okay, I just need you to verify them so we can. Okay. Is that what you're waiting for? What, what, what? Yeah. What, what you else? Man, you you, you stole my steps on the back. You what? stole my ladder for the ladder damn. Jump in the back. Selling it on eBay. How? Man, I know times are tough, man. You ain't got to make the money off of me, though. <laughs>
Damn, right? So, man, I got a ladder here. I got a big ladder to go up in the loft over in the front. I didn't know that. I need those poop hoses, though, because. I like the brakes. Because I don't I have any right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. hey, those those wires are, pretty good. Those I got wires will work with any sewer hose, right? Because they just they just got that little thread on it, right? It just threads onto the hose, right? Yeah, as long as it's not the uh, as long as it ain't the cam lock hose. Yeah, and you don't. Have I yeah, I got it's the rhino. The, that's what you got the cam lock. He's going to do the silver back, and that silver back will run right on any wire, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. So then, what's next to get it ready to go? Steps. Ooh, steps I got. Pick those steps up. I'm gonna put that on mine. Sweet. You got enough steps? No. Huh? You got him? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I can get that. Now I can just hold the. I gotta do. We don't carry the stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you can deliver it right to my house. Oh, okay. Well, that means it's locked, right? Yep. Why won't this line up? It's a, they're adjustable, so it says they, they can go either way. In other words, these can slide in and out, so they just. They don't have to go. It doesn't have to go straight flat either. No. Oh, okay. Just as long as they lock into place. Okay. Like that? Yep. Or or back? Okay. And this? Just. That's the hose. Yeah, it just. It just. Well, actually, it can snap. Snap down. Well, I'll leave that open for a second because I gotta get some stuff. Yep. You've got to install this, right, and go over the leveling system. Yep, we're gonna do the leveling system right now. Okay. We still got some time left on that. Time. I think so. Is it red? No. No, you're good. Oh, is it red? Yeah. Oh. His battery's getting close. The last bar. Is this gonna go? It probably will. There's no retainer or anything for it. But a little rubber stop. Rubber stop. All right, so when we turn this, go back for it. Oh, that's the same one. When we turn it on, uh, it is the same. If it goes completely off, just hold this power button for like 15 seconds and it'll power on. Okay. All right, so we got two different icons right here. This one right here, my RV has how to videos, uh, troubleshooting videos, owner's manuals, and all that. Is kind there of an thing. app for that? Um, for uh, RV? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so about the control panel? That's what mine is. Leveling? That's what mine looks like, in the, but I got all the rest of the lights and everything on there. I think you could connect this to your phone. Oh, it's a one control. That's what yeah. I would look up. You can yeah. connect, one you, you can connect this to your phone and run your main slides out, and you can do your leveling system. Oh, so I can do it with the phone. Yeah, it can connect okay. to this right here. Okay. So what do I do to level then? All right, so when you get to this screen right here, um, if we hit extend, we can only extend the front. It won't let us extend the rear from this screen. Uh, if extend is up and retracts right. it down. Okay. So if we hit retract, we it, can retract the rear and the front from this screen. We just can't extend the rear from this screen. All right. You cannot extend the rear? Not from the not from this particular screen that we're on right now. We can go to manual mode and do it. Okay. So like if we go to, if we want to do that, we can go to manual mode. Yeah. Right. We hit okay. enter. Yeah. And then now when we hit extend, we can extend the rear. All the way around. Yeah. And we can retract everything as well. So retract, like once I'm, yeah, you'll show me that once we're connected, yep. right? Yep. So um, here's this is what I call the default screen. Basically, it's what we're looking at right here. Um, we can do the auto retract if we want to. Once you hook up, once you hook up and you want to bring all your jacks up, you can come up here to auto retract, hit enter, and then it brings all your jacks up. Okay. Um, of course, next one down is manual mode. Uh, like that's what we were in just a while ago, where you can operate all your jacks individually. Um, from the default screen right here, we also have, uh, like I said, if you want to extend, you can extend the front, retract. We can uh, retract the front or the rear. Um, we also have the auto level, and we have the hitch height. So the auto level, pretty much auto level it. Uh, hitch height is what that does is it actually remembers where you the, left the last the, time. Where the unit was right before you hit auto level. Okay. So basically, you'll lift it up off the vehicle. We'll, we'll go through a scenario here. Uh, 
It's just like you just got through backing into your parking spot. We're going to lift it up off the truck. You get it high enough to take it off the truck. You pull your truck completely away from it. Mm -hmm. You don't want this thing coming Because it out goes nosedive first, right? It, sometimes it will. And okay. it doesn't know your truck's still there. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Make sure you're completely away from it. Uh, then we'll come over here and we hit auto level. So once it does its thing and uh, it levels off, then a few days from now you're ready to leave. We come over here and we hit hitch height. And it'll set up. I and should it'll be go back resident. to where it was right before we hit auto level. Nice. So wherever it was when you pulled out is where it goes to. So can I be in the truck on the phone and <laughs> set it to? I'm backing up as I'm setting it on my phone. No. What was that? Somebody over there. Oh, you sure? Yeah. Was that you? That's yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> So what it does is it does the front first, and then uh, after it, it does the front, it sends those jacks down to tips this way. It'll send these jacks down, tip back that way, and then it'll do whatever it has to do to make itself level. Okay. That's a little quick connect if you want to uh, hook up an LP. Uh, a drill or something like that, there you go. Tap right into that and use the LP. Oh, that's for propane? Yep. Nice. My, like my Blackstone or whatever grill? Yeah, you might have to change something on the grill. So right here, we just kind of missed it. It said auto level success. Okay. And then now it goes back to the default screen. Yeah, it'll tell you when it's successful. It's done. Some of them beep at you. They'll beep and it'll say auto level success. These don't beep no more. It just says auto level success. And then it goes back to the home screen. If there was something wrong, you, you would have an uh, error right now. It would be telling you a fault. Cool. Alright, so now we can, uh, what we'll do is we can go to, uh, we'll go to manual mode, or we can go hit retract, and then retract the rear, and that'll keep the front ones down. That's, that's doing the, the middle one, you know. Right? What? You should be able to hit the hitchhike. You know that's now. doing yeah, the middle. Hitch height is and up, it'll, but it'll, it'll it keep, it'll still have all these jacks down when it does the hitchhike. All, it, all it's going to do is bring it back up to where it was when it pulled out. Does that make sense? Now, I want to do. I mind, I just. Hit hitchhike, then it bloop, 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 takes those and goes back. Normally on hitchhike is what it does is it does, uh, when it's level, it'll raise the front end up where it was before you pulled out, before we hit auto level. Then you hook up and then we'll come over here and then hit, um, um, you hit the um, auto retract and let all the jacks come up. Well, now, here's what Usually I want. Usually all the jacks are still down when it But I want to do a pull test like this. I want to have, once it's hooked up, I want all of them up, but I want these about that far from the ground when I do my pull test. So if it comes off, it'll land on the, not not all the way up where it'll slam, but in other words, they're just this far off the ground and I do my pull test. If it were to happen, it would land on those jacks and everything well, would be what, okay. What, what most people will do is uh, once they hook up, then they'll immediately do, do the pull test. Before even return. Yeah, before you but even. I understand, but I don't want to pull on the jacks while they're down. So I want them up and just these up, these just a little yeah, bit. You just go back to hitchhike. So how to set that? And, Make sure you're locked in, and even like right there, as soon as you're at that point, even those are still on the ground, you can yep. you can tug. You, you can just still got your brakes are all on. Right. What you want to do is just or and then you can come back out and raise it up and then try and tuck it right. again. If you leave it in drive and just let off your foot off the brake, and as long as it doesn't pull out from underneath it, you're okay. Okay. Because if you do, even if you leave just that much down and you're not hooked up and you pull out from underneath it, it's going to do damage. Really? Yeah, it's going to damage it. So, at least this way, when they're when they're still on the ground, mm -hmm. and you do your pull test, and uh, if it does come loose, it's not going to drop down and hit the ground. And I get. I was just worried the pull test is going to put strain on your jacks. They're fine. You, they'll actually, when people back into it, uh -huh. up, you'll you'll see the unit scoot back a little bit. Really? Yeah, even at that. Okay. Yeah, they'll be fine. They won't. They got a heavy truck and you're going in. This, yeah. It ain't just going to go. Yeah. Ding, oh, it stopped. Yeah, okay. It, it so falls, they, they give a little anyway, what you're saying. The jacks, it's gonna damage it. Okay. And that's why you still leave your chops. You know, when you back up. Yeah. Your but usually when I go and I'm back in, as soon as I get into my spot, the first thing I do, I come out, I go back here, and I grab that 50 amp torch, I put that out. 